Hello everyone and welcome back to Thea the Awakening. Now in the last episode we checked out a couple of things following the completion of the main um, story line in the game. That is we have restored the cosmic tree, we have effectively banished darkness from Thea. But Thea isn't entirely out of danger yet. We still have the awakened giants to deal with. The uh, the world builders who are currently, due to the corruption of the darkness, kind of unbuilding the world. So we're going to have to go on a bit of a journey in this episode all the way down to here where hopefully we're going to be able to recruit the weatherer for our final fight against the Umbridge Lord. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a long trek, this one. Still, we've got a, a fairly cool uh, group down here. We've got uh, 21 turns worth of food as well, so things aren't terribly bad. We've also got the town of Silver Oak over there. Now, as I've mentioned previously, in Thea, the game isn't over unless you decide that it's over, frankly. You can quite happily continue playing even beyond the completion of the main quests. Uh, very, very nice there. A bit of heavy armor. We may drop by and pick that up on our way. Uh, what did we get from the well this time? We got some iron. Well, it's not great, but it's also not bad. Uh, is there anything we want to really pick up on our way? Hmm. Could go down and grab some bone, I guess. Uh, sure, let's let's have a poke around, shall we? What have we got over there? It is three skeletons. Well, in that case, we're going to go in there and we're going to take these guys out with a hex ritual. The walking corpses of the undead are animated by some dark and natural powers, but it is possible to try and break whatever mystical power holds these poor souls in their eternal prisons. Very well. It's only a, a four-card um, hex challenge. As we've seen, this deck in particular has basically been built for hex challenges. I don't anticipate that we're going to have much of a problem, honestly. Uh, now, counter offense. Sure. Take out one of their cards, straight up. It's a nice use of a tactics card, in my opinion. That one didn't get to use its ability there. Uh, we'll need to buff our card there. Do we have a counter tactic? I don't believe we do, unfortunately. Ah, that's fine. Uh, what we could do, though, is... Does anyone have the ability to support ally? No, actually. We do not. It's a bit of a shame. Do we have first action at all? No, we don't have that either. Well... Dread, damn and bless. Uh, Fitz, you can go ahead and get in as a meat shield there. I'm then going to play Zinsekuta down. Now, ooh. Okay, well, damn. I was hoping to use Oxford to uh, catch that card, but alas, no. Now, Kenneth normally wouldn't be able to play. Kenneth has no natural magic ability, but does have the effectively the poison effect. Um, from other stats, much as J. Panassus also has the leech effect for, for hex challenges from other stats. So while they do no base damage themselves, it doesn't really matter. We don't need to play all of our cards for this hex. It'll be easy enough to get through here and take everything out. There we go. Perfect. Nicely done. You have one. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need this. I will take the monster bone, though. There we go. All right, carrying on our way, uh, there's not too much for us to do over here, so we'll just pass the turn. The Holy Hog brings many blessings. What will they be on this day? The Holy Hog brings wisdom to your people, so they may prosper faster. Oh, wow. That is actually quite quite the boon there. Quite the boon. All right. Well, in terms of this location, I would say that being down here is the best place to gather from. Uh, though, we are in a bit of a, an issue here. Yeah, I thought that would happen. A challenge, a fight. We've been uh, set upon by three unliving corpses and eight skeletons. We didn't actually see any text for that, but okay. Uh, oof. You don't look like a nice fella, I must confess. Uh, that being said, now you've got a first action, sure, but let's get you in there. Whack. Okay. That was a good, solid blow. What I would love to see is... We've got a level 4 counter tactic. Do we have anything in counter offense? We've got a counter offense card, but that's one of our streakers, so I'd rather not. Especially because you've got a very, very hefty first action card there. Alright, let's get... 
I'll decide who to send to the, to the front later on. For now, though, uh, Ravian, you can get in there. And also, let's have Zen Sequitur down. There we are. Ouch. Yeah, I saw that one coming, unfortunately. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about Zen Sequitur there. Let's play uh, Norlox. Also, Kenneth. Kenneth does quite a lot of damage with that leech. Very, very impressive amounts of damage, actually. Now, six and six. We've easily got enough cards to send you guys to the front rows. So this is going to be fairly, fairly solid. Now, I could wipe out a bunch of their counter tactics. And... Uh, sorry, their tactic cards. And I, I think I, I would like to. Ah, I was hoping that I might be able to catch one of them before they got played, but alas. Okay, um... Another counter tactic. There we go. Now, I noticed that that card came from the very end here. Oh. That's a bit of a worrying sign, frankly. But still, we're, we're okay so far. Don't have the counter tactic here, though. Hmm. Well, I'm going to save that card then. Alright, it's time for me to start playing our strongest cards in order to do as much damage as possible at the front of the deck. That's fine. I'm glad that that card got played because now it means I know there's no more um, cards going to be changing the order of things. So anyone I put at the front now is going to stay at the front. Next up then. First and foremost, anyone who doesn't have a particularly good first action, you're instead going to support one of the stronger characters here. I need you at the front. Now I saved my trample capable uh, allies for last because I want to get them right to the front where they can do the most damage. Next up, there you go. And finally, I am going to move Obsidian Mist up because Obsidian Mist can get through this skeleton, which means that you guys can just wail through these two. And that means, hopefully, just, uh, other than the one piercing attack that happened. Oh, actually, no, you can't grab Obsidian Mist. Uh, oh, no, that that still will work. Saint Sequitur does 14 damage because of the leech. So that's okay. There we go. And straight through you, and through your friend as well. Through you. Marvellous. We should get through this without anyone taking any damage. Oh, drat. Just shy of taking you out. My bad. Miscalculated that one, didn't I? Oh, well. It's not too much of a loss day, to be perfectly honest. There we go. Though, you're going to have a little bit of a wound. You have one. Hooray. Obsidian Mist took six, six wounds. Hardly something for us to worry about at this stage. Uh, nah, I don't think that one's particularly good. None of these are really that useful to me at this point. We are making much, much better. Uh, now, what do we get from our well? Got a little bit of grain. The least worthwhile item that we could have gotten. Uh, okay. Now, question is, back in Dapper Dell, do we have much in the way of coal? 77 units of coal. And with the giant song, what is our capability for gathering? Let's uh, let's filter the group. Uh, I would like nothing but their gathering stat. There we are. I want to know what kind of gatherers we've got. 12, 8. you got some pretty high level gatherers. Such that I think it would be wise to stay here because we can gather from two separate spots. Yes, I think that would be, be very wise. So let's make a camp. We'll move around a little bit as and when. When we want food, we'll move down there to gather this little bit. The only, only downside right now is that we are burning a little bit of everything. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that at all. Uh, we don't need to heal faster. I would like to keep our defenses up, however, for the night while we're out here. We'll drop it when it comes to daytime because we'll be able to see enemies from afar. But for the time being, let's get to gathering. So, Kenneth, let's get you over there. Evil friend, let's get you down here. Now you're going to need a bit of backup there. A little bit more backup, right. I'll stop there for now. I would like to gather some string. Uh, actually, let's get you over here instead. Let's pop you guys around. Uh, Isham Gamer can go there. 
three Parnassus. There we go. Right, let's just try and see if we can't get it to the point where we can gather all of this. We're never going to get to the point where we can gather all of that in one go. So there's no reason to even try. Uh, other than to just not have a, an annoying warning that we haven't had, uh, that not everyone has got a job. There we go. Now, the, these numbers will actually carry over. So, in the the situation where you've really got no nothing better to do, try to stack up your numbers on the more important material. Because in the first turn, we'll get 310. In the second turn, the remainder will be used to get up to our total 414. And then the, the, the leftovers will go towards the next bar. I believe. We'll, we'll, we'll double check. Now, that might not quite work because we've got the realism difficulty enabled, which means that as a result, we can only gather one thing a turn. But it might still let us fill the bar up on, on the sec, like double fill it so that on the next turn we immediately gather. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Either way, though, we'll get a solid amount of enchanted bones from this. So I'm quite happy to just sit through the night for the remainder of the night. Uh, just chill out here, really. Uh, whilst we're dealing with that, how about we go ahead and hand out a couple of items? I've already given you a pretty uh, nice bit of armor. Got some stealth there, attractiveness, sturdiness. Uh, ooh. Ooh. That strength. That is very, very nice. Uh, I have to pretty much take everything off in order to equip it. But when we do, where are you? There we are. Tried. Oh wait, when we do, we're gonna get. Oh, can I? Ah, oh, drat, drat, damn and blast! That is so, so annoying. Ah, oh, we were so close to being able to get that. Well, you know what? We should have enough production here because to go ahead and make another monster bone ring and get you another strength ring at least yeah let's go ahead and make one of these as a priority then let's get you up there i'm working on that for me thank you uh, we'll get rid of the jerky for the time being as well uh that'll do you can come and help up there is everyone else working on something yes good 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 but that should help out a, a wee bit uh, in terms of Warhammers, we can't use Bone there. It's quite the shame. Though, for Heavy Armor, we can use Enchanted Bones if we particularly want to. Hmm. That is very, very nice. Exceedingly nice, in fact. Uh, Mithril would be fantastic for this, but uh, we could, if we had enough silver, go for something which would give us extra stealth. Uh, still, isn't a terrible group, but... Yes, I, I'm not not a big fan of that one. That's quite nice, full plate armor. Uh, we haven't got enough to go for steel. It was, it's either gold or iron. I don't see a reason not to go for gold, frankly. We'll get that magic, and I'll also use this just to increase the chance of us getting something particularly nice there. Sure, go ahead. We'll make one of these as well. There we are. And sorry, you can go up there and work on that for me. Okay, I think that's solid enough. All right, continue then. Oh, actually, let's uh, make sure everything's going on. What did we get from the well? We got some more grain again with the grain, something that we're already producing Another in vast night quantities. Falls over fear, and restless souls of the damned seek out the living in envy and anger. You can almost feel the approaching wave of these infernal wraiths seeking to burden your souls. Ah, it's fine. There's a lapidook. Your people sleep well this night. Well and done. One wakes with greater resolve. Hooray! Okay, so a little bit of EXP there. Uh, in terms of our gains, got some bird meat this time, not too bad. And got a bunch of enchanted bones, which is especially nice. Uh, continue working. We're about to get a research point, I fancy. There we go. All right, with that ring, come here then, Derek. Let's get you equipped. Now you're up to 250. That should allow you to, to wield this armor. Oh, look at that. You've now got... A particularly nice suit of armor for a medic. Very, very nice suit of armor. Let's get the bloodstone, which will give you 
extra medic there. Now I could, at this stage, take that away. The bad quality ring it will drop us down a little bit. But you could then equip this. You haven't got a weapon, true. But, honestly, in as a tactics card, you're pretty strong. As a combat card, yeah, weak. It's true. But you'd be fairly good in a lot of different... Uh, uh, different challenges. I'm I'm reasonably happy with with that. I don't think we need to mess around with it. I could have that ring instead, but having the distraction tactics sturdiness, yeah, I think it's generally speaking a better idea to have you equipped like that. Uh, as for Sarah, you've got a decent bit of equipment there. I'm not necessarily super keen on taking that off you because you'd lose your magic, but. Let's have a look at others. What have you got? Uh, it's got a life leech, so again, a hard one to decide on changing. Aha, someone here who might benefit. You've got a dexterity armor, so mm, don't want to necessarily lose that. Uh, this is much heavier, though. We could swap those out, though. There you go. That gives you a little bit more protection there, I think, Russell. Svizzle, uh, again, you could have this. You'd lose one dexterity, but the armor increase is actually quite substantial. Sufficient, at least, for me to be willing to make that trade and not uh, not really look back on it. Oh, three dexterity there, though. That would be a difficult one to beat. Quite a difficult one to beat. Uh, who would like this wing? We've got some spiders that might not... Uh, Suffer with that? Um, sure, you can have a, a strength ring. Uh, wh ah, no, 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 wait. Uh, you've actually got more than enough strength. We don't need you with a, a strength ring specifically. Uh, I would like to get you some better items, though, if we can. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, right, what have we got here? We got, ooh, got some obsidian. That is particularly nice. Now then... Question here, we could go for dried wood, we could go save up and get some of the different types of metals. We've already got war hammers, we could get archery. It would be nice, to be true. Uh, we could also expand out a little bit more, get a watchtower, so we could see a little bit further afield and in fact then start getting some better areas down here. I mean, the watchtower, we could use bones on it. Hmm. We've got some options there. Uh, the higher quality materials, again, generally the higher quality, the primary material, the better. The secondary material might buff the primary material's uh, ability. But generally, uh, I don't think it, it's too much of a concern, but... Hmm. This is a tricky one. Or we could just grab baked meals and, and actually be able to make use of all of the ridiculous amounts of grain we've got. Because that would just give us straight up two new meals. Because we've got so much grain, we can just eat the grain. And then we'd have bread. So, yeah, okay. It's high time we make use of the materials that we've had outside our settlement for this entire playthrough. <laughs> and have not yet, not even once, tried to make use of it. So the first and foremost obvious one there, we're just going to make... Some bread. And that's that's going to be an infinite one. There is no reason not to. <laughs> Absolutely no reason not to. Uh, let's grab... Uh, sure, let's bring you down. You can work there. You can work down here. There you go. That'll do well. The next thing we want, though, is... Oh, do we not have anything else? We don't have any berries, nor do we have seaweed. Oh, well, that's fine, then. It's not, not a biggie on that one. That is perfectly fine. You can just carry on working there then. All right, how's our new group? We want at least one more turn before we do anything else. Uh, we've got some odds and sods around here that we can use. Uh, don't don't burn the coal. That seems really unnecessary. Uh, we could unhook this one. No, I'm going to say we don't strictly need it. Let's preserve what we've got for now. Uh, we definitely don't need to be moving around, so uh, let's turn off something else. We'll, we'll we'll keep the little bit of defense, but 
Enemies are going to be less aggressive because it's becoming in daytime. Spider Queen, six militia spiders, they have really picked the worst place to attack. That is poor AI right there. Very poor AI. Poor in, in more than, than one way, really, when you think about it. It's poor in the sense that it made a really, really silly decision. And so it's poorly made. And also, poor in the sense that it is about to get absolutely raffle stomped. And I, I'm sorry, AI. I, I do apologize for what is about to happen to you. Uh, we have enough, realistically speaking, to drive everyone in our party forward. But, but you know what? I'm not going to leave you there. Being the inferior spider. No, no. You, you guys. Ah, you stole my spider, you scoundrel. How rude. Uh, well, you're going to get a buff as well, Travis. There we go. Now, the only problem here is that we don't actually do that much uh, trample damage. These are great units for that, simply because it will just go through two cards per attack. We don't have that, however, so, you know, really, we're just going to have to hope. Uh, let's drive you forward. You can go forward. There's no point in moving you forward. Sure, you can get to the front. And finally, you can have a shield. There we are. There we go. Very nice. We may win this without them getting a single turn. Which is particularly nice when that works. Ooh, let's have a look at you. Silver Okama, 10 Elvenwood, and 5 Iron. I mean, it's not great, but oh, I think I'll keep it. This is a good quality. I mean, yeah, we'll definitely keep that one. You travel through the hills in search of resources, okay. and you come across the remains of an old settlement. Ooh. The houses are small, almost built into the hills themselves, and despite the decay brought by the darkness, many look well preserved. You realize, however, that you are not alone, as two tall orcs step in front of you with their weapons drawn. Halt! One shouts at you in a deep, heavy drumming voice. I was wondering if we would get this event in this playthrough. I've never played the game without seeing this event, at least once. I have played the game a few times where I've seen it multiple times, and it is a pretty cool event. Okay, okay, let's not do anything rash. The two orcs speak together in a foreign tongue, which sounds a lot like whistling leaves on a windy day. You make out a few words like deal, mistress, and vault, but not much else. The orcs step aside, and an orcish female steps in. She is even taller, muscular, and holds her head up high as she speaks to you. We got here first, human, so don't get any ideas. But we may have a deal for you. We found something and it needs tools to open, and we have none. Give us your tools, and in exchange we will give you several weapons and some resources we found in this place. Deal? How about we work together? The Orc woman frowns, and her men take a few steps forward. But she raises her hand to stop them. Work together, you say? Why? We have never gotten anything but hatred and disdain from your kin. Why would we trust you? I guess you just have to take the first step. We don't trust you either, but we're willing to give it a go. Orc Witch, Orc Matriarch, and four Orc Fighters. Now, the Orc Fighters are not particularly worrisome opponents in a social challenge. Uh, and in fact, against this particular deck, I have no concern whatsoever. Evil Friend, you're up. Followed... Uh, well, actually, let's go for counter offense. Let's go with sure. Obsidia, take out their. Oh, good. Took out the orc witch. Nice. And do we have any particularly good counter offense? Yeah, sure. Bubbles. Let's get rid of an orc fighter. There we go. The rest of them are going to be confused for this round, which is particularly nice. But we will take out one more if we can. Go ahead, counter tactic. There we are. So, with that done, this is pretty much our battle. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, they're going to be able to do to stop us at this point. We've even got some pretty awesome first action cards as well. Right, there we are. Let's drive as many of you forward as we can. Uh, sure, you're up next. And... Go forward, should I? Yeah, sure. Between the two of you, you'll take out the matriarch. And we'll support you as well, and then drive you forward as well. There we go. Very nice group, this. There we are. 
Lee stood no chance against our rhetoric. Absolutely none. Okay, the awkward had a moment of doubt. The conversation goes well, and so you end on a high note. So you see, we both have an image of our people in our heads. We think orcs are brutes who will eat our children. Wow, that, and from the that was a high note? You think the very same of us. If we give you our tools, you may not find anything of use in the vault anyway. But if we work together, you keep your stuff and get half of what's in the vault. And we both learn that trust can be found in the strangest of places. The orc woman nods and smiles. Oh, fine. You have a silver tongue, human, but I like it. Let's get the vault open, and then perhaps we can even drink together. Hooray for drinking together! Open the vault using our tools. Inside the vault, you find a supply of various wooden logs, some minerals, and a huge supply of dried, cured foodstocks. You also find a small armory, but it is clear that whoever lived here treasured the food and resources more than anything else. Oh, that's fair. Share the spoils, as promised. You share the spoils and sit by the fire with the orcs. There is an awkward distance between the groups, but it is certainly progress. The orcs get up to leave, but their leader turns to you once more. This was a trip to remember, and I would not like it to go to waste on account of our mutual hatred. I give you one of my men. Not a good one, mind you, he's a measly thing, but perhaps he can prove his worth amongst your people. But in return, one of yours will come to live with us. Perhaps this way we will learn about each other and rebuild our land differently from before. She looks away, mm. her face frozen in thought. See, we've got a very good and very specifically built deck here. And this is always always the, the issue with this. Um, if you accept it's just a straight trade, a random person from your deck will leave. And you'll get an orcish warrior, I believe. Uh, although it says a measly one, it's actually a fairly good card. Uh, let's have a quick look at you first, though. I like. Uh, but if you say, no, sorry, our people are our own, but may we live in friendship, it doesn't end badly, but there is a small chance that you'll still keep one of the, uh, an orc, but it'll be an orc worker rather than an orc warrior. Now, I'm going to go with the second because we have spent a lot of time and effort making this deck and very heavily upgrading it because you'll lose your gear as well. Uh, so I'd rather not make that trade later on. Early on in the game, however, that is a fantastic trade to take. Fine. In that case, I shall give you one of my workers instead. He's truly a pain in my existence. If you don't take him, he shall be left here anyway. This way, we still keep a connection and you unburden me from an annoyance. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, thanks, I think. One of the orcs you have not noticed earlier steps up and stands by you. His head is hanging low. He's much smaller than his warrior friends. And yet, he still seems like a sturdy enough fella. The other orcs grunt something to him, and he nods to them. Then they all leave. The orc speaks in your tongue, but it's an effort for him. Me happy to living in human house. Me thanking you. Me be hot track. He bows and starts working on loading your loot without any delays. Welcome to Dapadel hot track. But, but, as is customary amongst humans, we must find out your true secret hidden name. Otrak is, is a wonderful name, I'm sure. It's a beautiful orcish name with, with great tradition. Of that, there is no doubt. But in actual fact, your secret true hidden name that now knowing how dapper we are, you're willing to share with us, kind of like cats, is Ian. Welcome to the, uh, to the, the, the tribe, I suppose, Ian. Uh, right, well, 15 strength. This is one of the weaker ones. So bear that in mind. Uh, right. Now, you're gonna get one of these. Two speech, maybe? Yeah, let's, uh, bulk up your speech craft a little bit, I think. As for weapons, we could just give you a massive amount of damage. Uh, that three dexterity is also very attractive because it'll increase your, your stealth. So, yeah, we'll go with that. For now. I mean, I don't have better equipment to give you, unfortunately, but we will get there. We will get there. But there we go. Very nice indeed. And we got a little bit of wood from the well. Uh, we'll spend another two, two turns again. I want to wait until it's daytime for us to leave. And there we go. Daytime it is. Though, I'm not going to leave that uh, gathering half done. We will go for one more turn. And there we go. Our first bit of bread. Hooray. And we're getting some mushrooms there. But with that, it is time for us to uh, break camp, I think. Now, in terms of food... 
We've got 12 turns worth of food. It's not terrible. Uh, see, if I had been clever, I would have made sure that I'd activated all the food types before we started going, but oh well. Uh, I'll shut these all down. Well, nah, we'll leave them all on, I suppose. All right, where are we off to then? In no uncertain terms, we need to be down there, but we could... Ooh! I think uh, we need to be over by Dapper Dell right now, actually. Uh, see, there's a problem. I wasn't paying attention to what was going on in Dapper Dell this whole time. My bad. My bad. We're about to be punished for that one. Yikes. Uh, well, given that then... Maybe it would be better for you to have something like that. Oh, I do like the piercing damage, but how much damage overall do you do? You only do 14, so with that, you'll do 16 and you'll trample. So a little bit of an upgrade, I think. Overall, I'm a bit happy with that. You can also have uh, another amulet as well. Now, Dapper Dell, in terms of your food supplies, you're about to be in a bit of a fight, you see. So I'm going to activate the fish as well. You don't need to be moving around, so that isn't a, a big concern for us, but... Still, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and hope that you don't get smushed into the ground. Oh. Uh, an unliving giant, eight hulking rats, and two fat rats. That, uh, hmm. Scary. In a word. And so, uh, oh, alright. Well, evil friend, up first. Then Darius, up next. Ay, 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 ay. Thank goodness you were on the wrong side of the deck. Okay, that is that has made things significantly easier for us. But wow, that could have been bad. That could have been so bad. Uh, but no, that should be okay for us for now. I think we will be alright. There we are. Not much of a concern, you guys. So let's get the rest of the people in. And as for that, um, you know what, I, I could just dump massive amounts of shielding on Liam. Because anything that wants to attack is going to have to get through Liam, because we're going to wipe out everything on the left, to the left of e Liam, very quickly. Right. And let's get even more shielding. And then at this point, it's just, it's just pointless to do anything else. So uh, let's have Oxford and... Lulu get in. Oh, yeah. We'll actually play the whole deck this time. We won't need it at all, but we'll play it anyway. Alright, there we go. Trample straight through the first fat rat. Do a bit of damage to the unliving giant. A little bit more damage, and it's gone. Whoa. Okay, I feel much, much, much happier about that now. Uh, unfortunately, I have to waste some of our points there. And there we go. No more rats. Considering there was a giant in that deck, we did quite well. To not take a single bit of damage. Uh, no, not taking a hammer made entirely of granite. As much as that would, no doubt, hurt things you hit with it. Eh. Okay, they wandered away. Ooh. Very good. Um. Sure, we're going to make our way down here. Uh, we'll take hunting, sure. Uh, it's only a, a small group here, but... As I've mentioned, despite the tutorial saying as much, you really don't get a better return from from combat. Things like hunting, stealth, hex especially, tend to give you better returns. So, much better to focus on those ones in my opinion. Uh, there are more than enough of you there to deal with everything, so go ahead and have the fight. There you go. It's fine. We don't need to worry about any damage in a hunting challenge because it is a challenge rather than a straight up fight. Uh, that weapon has got some poison, so it's not necessarily a bad one, but I will get rid of it, nevertheless. Right, we've got one more turn to move. We are going to have to drop into Dapadel because there's a bunch of armor over there and we've got someone the who needs to be re equipped. Is shaken with tremors. Groans and thudding footsteps are heard throughout. The tremors and wild groans eventually stop, but they leave you with a sense of dread. Damn these tremors. Very well. 
Uh, we could take out this snake before we return. Yeah, me as well, I suppose. Uh, let's go hunting again. It's only one star. It's going to have two cards. This is, this is bullying at this point. Counter offense. Oh, it's got higher than uh, I thought. It's well, one higher. Okay. Uh, very well. Let's pop down Evil Friend and we'll get Zen Sacrater in. And then we're not going to worry about the rest. There we go. And Zen Sakura takes out the other card. Thank you very much. Ooh, that wasn't a bad one to get. Always nice to have artifacts. They are never a uh, poor return. Okay. Let's see if more than one movement to get across the river. You scare me a bit. But we have got 16 cards in Dapper Town. That's actually the maximum amount that we could have. We can't do anything more than that. Right, now... Rather than go into Dapper Dell here, what we're going to do instead is we're going to drop everything off. So, anything like uh, equipment or uh, random odds and sods, that sort of stuff. Uh, any crafting gear. Drop all of this into Dapper Dell. We, wow, Giant Song ended up with quite a lot, didn't it? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Wow. Okay, but that's, uh, that's the important part done. Now, I would like all of the bread. Mm. I've only got seven turns worth of food. <laughs> That's not good enough. Uh, so, let's grab a stupid amount of this. There we are. And a reasonably large amount of this as well. There we go. That's a little bit of a concern, though, isn't it? Uh, we should be all right. We, we've got a, a bit. But do we not have raw? There we go. Uh, that's what I like to see. Let's take a good, hefty chunk of stuff with us. Um, no, we'll leave the meat there. Take some extra grain. There we are. And that should be good enough. Now, the question we have here. And it is an important one, really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Someone has to stay behind. Uh... Hmm. I'm going to say that it will be Ian, I'm thinking, is going to stay behind. So, Ian, there you go. There's no point in having more than, than um, 16 cards. In fact, when we get the weatherer, we're going to have to drop one other person off as well. But that being done, let's have a look at the equipment we've got here. Let's move all of this stuff over so that I can make the, the best decisions on equipment. Okay, there we go. I have upgraded some people's armors, but they're not too many of them needed to be upgraded. Or I couldn't afford to upgrade everyone's armor based on their strength. But for the most part, we're okay. But as I was going through, I noticed that Darius, of course, has replaced J. Parnassus as the best medic in this party by actually quite a large margin. So, as it happens, we're also going to be saying goodbye to uh, J. Parnassus. You're going to be hanging back. Now, that being said, with that in mind, do you have any gear that I'd really like to take off you? No, you don't really. As it happens, you don't really have uh, much in that regard, so that's fine. All right, J. Parnassus, let's uh, drop you off. There we go. Now that's going to leave us enough room to grab the weather with us as well once we, we get there. But we're not going to be taking an inventory full of gear that we don't need. So let's uh, drop all of that off while we can. There we are. And this as well. We should be good with that. We've got 76 turns worth of, of firewood, 138 turns worth of food. We're good. We're good. All right, with that then, let's continue on our way. Now, I could try and you know, deal with the things around here. We've got uh, Wild Wife, some uh, Veal Kalut. Scary. Super scary. Let's just hope that it doesn't lead to death. That's pretty much all we can do. Uh, right, let's have a look at all of these bones that we've got. Many, many bones. I'm really tempted to wait. We'll see where we can go. Please don't attack. Okay. Whew. Let's be out of here, please. Uh, let's get down to that weather. We've got a bit of a trek ahead of us, but it shouldn't be too awful. But it is coming back tonight again. I wouldn't mind 
getting uh, everything set up in Dapadel so that we could build a building out of Enchanted Bone and then have a chance of just recruiting demons. That'd be pretty awful. Uh, awesome. All right, get to hunting. It's going to be a fairly easy fight here. Cthulhu can take them down. Right, on the next turn, you're going to finish that job. And we'll get the rest of our cards into position. Doesn't really matter too much about whether they attack or not, really. We we are going to win this fight one way or t'other. Uh, there we are. I'll just pop a little bit of extra damage on Fitz. And move Fitz to the front. Likewise, a bit of extra damage for Rivsun. There we go. And sure, we'll get Bubbles in. Liam and Obsidian. And at that point, we're just going to call it there. There we are. Not too bad. Not too bad. Very nice. We have one, indeed. We have. Ooh. Uh, we don't need this armor, but that looks nice. That well, looks very nice, actually. Let's go ahead and see if anyone would like this. Plus one will. Um, yeah. Actually, will is more useful because it's uh, a, a, a trait that is useful in certain fights, uh, certain challenges. You come across a goblin encampment, and you spot that they are holding some humans, including children, hostage, and torturing them. Hmm. I know, we're going to get involved. Sneak up on them and try to free the prisoners. I think we've got enough in this challenge, sure. See what we can do. Simply in terms of the amount of cards we've got, we should be alright. Oh my lord, you've got 45. What? Let's um, use a counter offense to open up with. Yep, and another one straight away. There we go. Now, of course, you're going to play your cards as best you can, but you didn't get an opportunity there to do too much damage. We'll follow through with counter tactics. I'll just take as many of their cards out as I'm able to. Oh, that was the only one. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, now then. Hula, let's get you in. I would love it if we could get you super buffed. Now, got one card that is a first action, but it can affect nobody. Worrisome. But still, let's get you all set up as best we can. Now, you are going to take a wallop of damage there, but you, depending on the direct... Well, actually, you can get it to the point where it matters a lot less which direction you, you attack. You're going to take out one card. Uh, Liam, sure. You're next, then Kenneth behind, I would say. Uh, let's get you a bit of a shield, though, first. There we go. And then we'll just stack everyone there. It doesn't really matter what order we place them. I mean, if you were trying not to overkill, then it would matter, but this this combat is already going to, to go our way. We don't need to worry over much. There we go. Very nicely done. And the second phase, we will just wail on the discarded pile of cards. It wasn't as convincing a victory as I had hoped it would be. But still, it was good enough. You beat the goblin scum and rescue the prisoners. Some may decide to stay with you. Some choose to go their own way. Good. Welcome those who choose to stay and leave together. Uh, well, in case we do end up with some state... Yeah, we did. A child and Jindre. Okay. Let's have a look. Who is Jindre? Hello. You are a gatherer. Uh, well, a gatherer who's got a great ruddy big sword. Uh, and actually, if uh, you can't equip that one. much sadness, but there we are. I mean, you've got six gathering. It's not too bad. We will be dropping you off at Dapadel, though, once we can. You are, of course, Aquatami. Welcome to Dapadel, Aquatami. Now, with that done, let's continue on our way. Right now, they are causing us a little bit of trouble because we aren't, can't guarantee that we're going to get our full deck into any fight. I could send them off by themselves to try and get home. But I worry that they might not reach home if I did that. So let's instead you get in here. You come across a female Ooh, giant, okay. a true wildwife, you believe. She is covered in fur with huge dark eyes and a slumping, flabby body. She is not as tall as some of her kin, but she is still taller than a troll. The wildwife is crouching behind a great rock, looking in all directions, clearly scared of something. Um, hello. I don't suppose you know where I can find a planet, Nick Lord? 
The wild wife cowers as you speak, but then she calms down and speaks. Goodness, I was afraid you were one of those strange big fellas chasing me, and your only tiny fleshies. Phew. <laughs> Say, I don't suppose you know why they're after me. I mean, I am just a troll living happily by a bridge, minding my own business, when these guys appeared and tried to jump me. Why am I asking you? I've got to run. Uh, hey, calm down. You're not a troll. You know that, right? Just stay and talk with us. Okay, uh, four rockers, so you're in the company of trolls. I don't believe the rockers are going to be much of an issue for us, though. Uh, right, do we have anyone with piercing? We do not, but that shouldn't be too terribly bad. Uh, I am going to want to try and get a good number of people to the front of this fight, if we can. We need to take you out as quickly as possible, because you can take out pretty much every card we've got in one go. Which wouldn't be a good thing. More or less. Just play all the cards. Doesn't particularly matter. The rockers are not much of an issue. Even if the Wild Wolf did get two phases, would only take out two cards. That's, that, that's the best it can do. So it's not a gigantic issue for us. But we really can only move one card ahead. So since Equator, enjoy. Oh, no, no. We've got... Uh, oh, there we are. Bubbles as well. Got in whilst new. Merge. Sadness. Uh, Alright. Well, there's actually not that much reason to have us uh, get any further cards in. However, I can use Confuse to make sure these rockers don't get in our way to begin with. In fact, that's not a bad idea. Sure, there we go. Right, so the first phase is just us. There we are. And on the second phase, ooh, there we go. The wild wife is gone. Fantastic. Okay, we've won. Very convincing. So, you say I am a giant? A wild wife? And those others are just looking for me because that's our nature? Well, you do sound convincing, so maybe I will talk to them next time. Thanks. I always wondered where I come from. My folks said they found me as a baby, but they never knew much more. Here, have this as thanks. And I am sorry, but I don't know where your planet Nick friend is. Ah, uh, that's alright. Thank you anyway, though. Fifteen dragon leather? Thank you very... I imagine you actually just wrestled a dragon for it, frankly, so <laughs> thanks. Well, glad to have helped. Keep out of trouble and see you around. Okay, well, with that done, we need to find the weatherer. Silver Oak over there, giant returns down yonder. There's going to be one more. Well, we might need to do a little bit more scouting around, I guess. Hmm, let's have a quick look. Where's Giant's Return? Part 5. Uh, you approach a layer of Lord, and it's suitably steeped in grim darkness, and an unnatural ground, yeah, that's fine. Uh... Okay. We have got to find the weatherer again. It might just take time for us to find them, which is fine if that's the case, but it's going to be a bit of a potch, but... Oh dear. Ugh. All right, well, it's four Wild Wives. That's actually good for us because the Vyulkaloos hit as hard as Wild Wives do, but they've got about double the, the, the health. Which, as you can imagine, really not good. Very ungood, in fact. There is absolutely no point in us trying to uh, use any cards on them. Their levels are going to be higher than we can hit. Uh, so, fine. Uh, we have, however, got some pretty beefy cards that we can lay down and try and drive to the front. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, okay. Well, that, that's fine for now. Now, what do we have? Uh, we've got enough to really do some damage here, so sure. Let's get you leveled up. Get you driven to the front, please and thank you. 51, not bad at all. Uh, we will then buff you as well. Drive you to the front. There you go. Now, Sai is going to get really badly wounded here. And there's not a lot we can do about it. The only only real help we can give Sai is to make Sai... Well, we could give him a lot of shielding. Hmm. Nothing I can do. 
very, very unfortunate. Uh, I can drive a couple of you forward. In fact, I can send Weed Alchemist forward as well. Uh, sure, okay. Weed Alchemist, get to the front. Svizzle, get to the front. Um, Russell, get to the front. Who's got the better shield? Okay. Jason's got the better shield. Please apply this to Sai. I'm not going to play Derek. Because Derek will just get smushed. At least with this, we've got a chance to to keep Sai from taking too much damage and get going down. Okay, now come the beefy cards. Good, good, good. Very nice. It's still going to take a full whack, but we've got a chance here. Not sure there's enough damage on the... No, there won't be. Still, we came really close. Sai may go down uh, following this. In fact, quite a few people may go down. Uh, okay, so... What we really need to do now... If only we had some piercing, but alas. Uh, well, my deepest concern is whoever we play here... Well, Sara is actually quite strong, so... Sure, okay, Sarah, you can get in there. I will be able to drive you forward. Uh, next up, we'll also get Ian. There we go. Oh! That was a particularly silly move. That was a really horribly wasteful use of that card. I approve. Uh, we got a five. Yes, we do. Move forward. Now I just need one other five. Uh, I've got a six. That will do. Let's get you forward. All right, we want to stack as many powerful cards as we can at the front now. Who would be the best for that? I would say... Sure, Jason, let's get you there. Drive you forward. It's a rather big first action to use on such a low-level card, but, you know, it's the way this one's going to be. Uh, we've got a few fours, so sure. You can move forward. We'll keep that 25 shield for Ian. In fact, we'll use that right now. And furthermore, well, this is going to hurt. Um, if we leave it as is, this wild wife will go down, but we'll get one hit off on Psy first. That is a shame, but... Hmm. Well, actually, he might not, no. 107. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Ah, the leech. And the poison. I didn't account for the poison. Oh, that was so glad I didn't decide to just drop these cards in. But there we go. Stephanie, unfortunately, and Sai. Yeah, look at the damage Sai took, though. Now, we got attacked there. I don't think that's going to count against us with the planet Nick, but we'll see. That's a very nice hammer there. Wow. Okay. And, a, you know, a decent range weapon. Some diamonds as well. Okay. Bit scary, but we'll see how this goes. All right now that we've got this issue, uh, unfortunately we can't get all the way down there. All right, well that's the way that's going to be, unfortunately. Very well. Um, let's go ahead and check on the equipment, though. Because we've got some decent ones to hand out. No, can't give you that. Uh, any of these? See, the annoying thing is, if I do it like this, then it'll allow me. I do wish it would check. Whether you had the the ability first. Let's grab that from you then. Get that down. You should be able to find a weapon that'll work for you. Uh, for example, that one. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's give someone an ability to uh, actually attack, like uh, get a piercing attack. That'll do for now. Uh, in terms of the armor, though, it's not actually as good as I thought. Mm. All right. Uh, well, we've definitely got some animals that could do with a couple of artifacts, so I might as well hand those out. Uh, that can go to you as well. And that to you may as well make use of them the best we can. Right, in terms of production, mm, still working on some amazing gear. Uh, we'll hang on to that. We'll see how that goes, but uh, it really is down, down to just luck now whether they come out of this without dying what resources are around here um not bad ones actually certainly not how about we pop up there um sure that's not a bad little spot all things considered we're gonna pitch camp here 
And we're going to gather some berries. And also some uh, wicker. Uh, actually, let's get you up there. Uh, you can grab the berries. There we are. That'll be more than enough. Get over there as well. Perfect. All right, everyone else now join in with Evil Friend. See if we can't get this in time. And well, actually, let's pop you up there. Don't leave you there. And uh, you can go over here. There we are. Nice. All right, we'll be able to gather everything. Keep your fingers crossed, everyone. Fear oh, we're getting not attacked. An easy okay, place to grow enough. up in, but alas, grow up we must. Indeed. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild Fear. Well, I think this child was a wise ass from the start. They will become a sage. Becoming an adult is an important rite of passage. The whole village celebrates this joyous occasion. The youngster places a food offering at the altars of their gods, in thanks and in hopes for a good future. Hooray! Okay, welcome to the top of the hell, Radagost. No one died. Phew! Okay, looks like Radagost is down here, though. I suspected that might be the case. Where are you, Radagost? Very well. You are Sandman. Actually, I kind of like that name for a for a sage. I think it think it it suits. Uh, unfortunately, you're not very well equipped, sage. But nah, we're gonna have to live with that one. However, that is where we're gonna be wrapping up today's episode. I'm afraid Giant Song is their ranks have swollen quite a lot. We still need to find the weatherer, the the planet Nick. Where we will find them, I don't yet know. We're probably going to have to interact with a couple more uh, giant um, giant quests, possibly. Or we may need to go up against the Umbridge Lord by ourselves. That will be very frightening if that ends up being the case. But either way, that's it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.